Maybe Melgeek realized that all their previous keyboards are a bit higher priced, so they released this one, Modern 97, for only $139. After being using for a while, I think it's really worth the price. For those who don't know how to build a custom mechanical keyboard, the Modern 97 can be your first high-end keyboard. Modern 97 comes with a nice package. The material of the package is renewable and biodegradable, so it is very friendly to the environment. The packaging is very minimalistic, representing the harmony of nature and urban life design philosophy. Plus, it's just the right size, so if you don't want to spend $10 for a dust cover, using this lid instead is just perfect. Underneath the keyboard is a quick guide, a small card with all the instructions on how to use a Model 97. Let's take away the quick guide and the warranty card. At the bottom are all its accessories. From left to right are the keycap puller, switch puller, eight replacement keycaps, Type-C cable, and 2.4G dongle. Not to mention that the Mojo series and the Pixel from Mailgeek are among the top in the industry for the design. The Model 97 as Mailgeek's cheapest keyboard, however, still has something unique and impressive to it. The combination of the ink dot upper shell and the thread matte transparent bottom shell gives the keyboard a bit of a zen style. This ocean version comes in blue, white, and yellow color scheme. The three icons at the bottom represent productivity, social, and game. There are a few partning lines centered on the side and back of the bottom shell, which are not very noticeable and difficult to find. Personally, I think Model 97 is very good in terms of design and build quality. For a 90% layout keyboard, the Model 97 is pretty compact. There's not a single gap between the arrow key, numpad, and typewriter key, making the entire keyboard significantly shorter. It does save space, though you will have to get used to it for a while. It has three connection methods, 2.4G, Bluetooth, or wired. During the time testing this keyboard, there was no problem with the keyboard waking up again and still has the first character typed when connected wirelessly. The Model 97 weighs 990 grams. It's not light, but it's a good thing for a keyboard that doesn't sell itself on portability. Instead, you get a keyboard stuffed with a sound absorbing material and a large battery. The Model 97 uses the MCR keycap profile. It's a male geek original profile that is similar in size to the Cherry profile, but slightly taller. They are really not much difference in use though, and with the wrist rest, they are both quite comfortable. There aren't too many drawbacks to this set of double shot ABS keycaps. The characters are neatly aligned, and there's no light transmission. The colors are bright and uniform, and the only thing you need to worry about is that they get worn gradually in long term use. This is a common problem with the ABS keycaps, by the way. The three switches available for the Model 97 are all from KO. Our choice is the KO Sonic 53. It's a linear switches. Let's listen to the typing sound first. As you can hear, I didn't do any tuning to the Model 97, it's just a soul thug as it is. The Sonic 53's sound is very satisfying to me. The multi-layer foams fill up the gaps and there's no clutter. There's one small shortcoming in the typing experience though. The stability of the stem is not particularly good. It just so happens that we have all three switches, and once you compare them to the other two switches, you can clearly see the difference. If you can't live with it, then I recommend you to go for the other two switches or change to your favorite switches on your own. It's a hot swappable keyboard anyway. The Model 97 tries its best in other areas as well, such as using gasket mount and slotted PCBs as well. We're all familiar with the gasket mount, so we won't go in depth. The fact that Melgeek uses slotted PCBs on their cheapest keyboards is something I didn't expect. This gives the Model 97 a more flexible typing feel. It's not the softest gasket mount keyboard we've ever seen, but you can see how much it sinks, which means it works perfect. KO switches and stabilizers are factory pre-lubed, and every press is very smooth. I think the Model 97 is already at the top of its price range in terms of typing experience. 
Mailgeek has its own keyboard software called Mailgeek Hive. Everything you want Modern 97 to do for you, this software can bring you the best result. For example, custom key values, custom shortcuts, macro and changing the backlit colors. There are thousands of color schemes to choose from. And thanks to the white foams and transparent plates, the backlight doesn't fade and it looks bright and pure. In Mailgeek Hive, you can even monitor the battery status such as the temperature and health level. With battery management system, the 4000 mAh Model 97 can be used for 1900 hours in 2.4G power saving mode with all lights off. That means even if I use it for 8 hours a day, it will last almost 8 months without charging. If you switch the Bluetooth connection, then you won't need to charge it for a year. That's pretty impressive. For gamers, you can also quickly switch to performance mode in the home page, then the response speed will be increased to 1000 Hz, and this keyboard has Anki rollover mode. I have to say, the Mailgeek Hive and battery life are the biggest surprise for me in Modern 97. Let's summarize the advantages of Modern 97. First, it looks good. Like other Mailgeek keyboards, it looks unique. Second, the thock. It doesn't need any tuning, but still sounds amazing. Third, it's a 90% layout keyboard. Those who like numpads and function keys will be happy about it. The fourth, the super long battery life. It's one of the few keyboards that doesn't need to be recharged for up to a year. Last, there are almost no drawbacks to this keyboard that I can't live with. The only switch's stability issue can be solved by utilizing the other two switches. Not a big deal. I think it's definitely worth the $139 price tag. Just a quick spoiler alert, after this, we will also do a review for Mojo 68. So if you want to see that review, remember to subscribe to our channel and give us a like. Leave a comment if you have any thought about Model 97. This is World Funkism China. See you next time.